the Jewish channels we can review. The shocking murder of three children and a school teacher in France, new tips for Jewish comfort food, chatting with one of the hunks from the hit series Srugim, and more of the Jewish news that's changing your world right now in this episode of the Week in Review. Hello, and welcome to the Jewish Channel's Week in Review. I'm Stephen I. Weiss. The Jewish world's attention has been captured by the fatal shooting of four Jews in Toulouse, France earlier this week. Rabbi Jonathan Sandler, his six-year-old son Aryeh, his three-year-old son Gavriel, as well as seven-year-old Miriam Montenegro were all killed while waiting for a school bus. A 17-year-old boy was also shot and was still hospitalized in critical condition as we prepared for broadcast. They were shot outside the Jewish school Otsar HaTorah by a masked guard. Gunman. The shooter approached them on a motorcycle, dismounted, and shot Sandler and his boys. When his first gun jammed, the shooter pulled out a second gun and chased the now fleeing schoolchildren into the schoolyard, cornering the seven year old girl and shooting her in the head. The killer appears to have been wearing a video camera around his neck, but it is not known if he was recording his attack. The killer never took off his motorcycle helmet during the attack, and so his identity remains an open question. Police have said that the weapon used in the attack is the same one as that used to kill three black and Arab French paratroopers in two attacks last week, also in Toulouse, suggesting a broadly racist violent agenda on the killer's part. Thousands rallied in Paris Monday night, prominently featuring a large banner that declared, In France on Tuesday, blacks, Jews and Arabs are killed. The bodies of the four Jewish victims were flown to Israel Tuesday for burial there. Moving on, one of the ways Jewish families have traditionally dealt with tragedy is with comfort food. Meredith Gansman reports on new twists on that cuisine. Spring has begun, and as the weather warms up, many of us are looking to make healthier diet choices in order to shed the extra winter pounds. And fortunately, sacrificing those Jewish comfort foods that you know and love is no longer necessary. Take traditional Jewish dishes like potato kugel and kreplach. According to personal chef and owner of the kosher catering company At Your Palate, while those foods taste delicious, they don't hold their weight in nutrition value. The reality is we're consuming a tremendous amount of starch, tremendous amount of fat between the eggs and the added oil. But there is a way to lighten up these classic recipes without losing their flavors. Chef Shia's healthy twist on potato kugel includes vegetables and whole grains that offset those heavier starches with a nutritional boost. So to offset the amount of potato that we're using, we're also going to be adding some celery root or celery act, which um, is much lower in starch, has a nice kind of flavor to it, very mild. We're also going to be adding some kale, which has good roughage to it, really rich in flavor and rich in nutrition. We're going to also be using some bulgur wheat as uh, a way to sort of add a little bit of binding to it, which is also very healthy for you, great source of fiber. For this kugel, begin by grating the potatoes and celery ac in a food processor. Then, drain them in a fine mesh sleeve. To the potato and celery ac, add finely chopped onion and kale. Next, mix in one whole egg and three egg whites and safflower or flaxseed oil. Finally, fold in the extra fine bulgur wheat. Bake the kugel in muffin pans for extra crunch and good portion control at 400 degrees. And after 20 to 30 minutes, they'll be crispy and golden brown. To see Chef Shia's lighter take on Kreplach, tune into the full broadcast version of the Week in Review. Thank you, Meredith. Fans of the TJC series Srugim are surely eagerly awaiting each week's new episode. Now, here's a special treat. Rebecca Honig Friedman interviews actor Amos Tamam, who plays the character Amir in Srugim. Fans of the hit TV show Srugim, which explores the lives of modern Orthodox singles in Jerusalem, might not immediately recognize Amos Tamam as the actor who plays the character of Amir without his signature glasses and kippah. But at a Q&A at the JCC in Manhattan, Tamam, speaking in Hebrew, explained that the show's creator, Lazy Shapira, purposely cast his characters against type. But in an interview before the event, Tamam told TJC he's more like his character than is readily apparent. Do you identify with Amir? Can. זה מצחיק. על פניו, אני ואמיר לא, לא דומים בכלל. אמיר הוא חנון, משקפיים, לא כזה קול עם נשים. Hi. מה שאני לא כל כך בחיים שלי. 
אבל אני חושב שבפנימיות שלי, במקום הזה שאני מסתיר שאף אחד לא רואה, אני מאוד אמיר. כי אני, למרות הכל ולמרות המקצוע שלי, וזה מקצוע מאוד חיצוני, עם המון, שדורש המון ביטחון עצמי והחצנה, אני ביישן מאוד. וגם לא יודע, כאילו, זה לא משהו שאומרים על עצמך, אבל אני גם מאוד רגיש. זאת אומרת, דברים... אני ממהר להזדהות. To hear more from actor Amos Tamam of Srugim, watch the full broadcast version of the Week in Review. Thank you, Rebecca. While Srugim is a show about whether Orthodox singles can make a match, the national stage is now preparing for one Orthodox rabbi's efforts to make it to Capitol Hill. Kosher sex author and former TV host Rabbi Shmuley Boteach has officially announced he'll be running for a new congressional seat in New Jersey as a Republican. And finally, while Boteach was expelled from the Chabad Lubavitch movement many years ago, a Chabad rabbi appears to have been removed from his position this week after a video allegedly featuring him having sex with a prostitute hit the internet. The yarmulke-wearing man in this video is alleged to be Rabbi Noach Kamenetsky. This capture of the Chabad.org website shows where Kamenetsky used to be listed as an emissary in the Barnaul Altai region in Russia. That listing is now removed, as is the page about Kamenetsky on the Russian Chabad website of the Federation of Jewish Communities, or FJC. The video first came to broad public attention among English speakers when a link to a Russian message board was shared where the video had been uploaded. A blog called The Shliach was established solely to distribute this link. TJC reached out to Chabad spokespeople for comment and at the time of broadcast received no reply. That's all for this week. From all of us here at the Jewish Channel, be well. The Jewish Channel is available on cable. Time Warner Cable Channel 528, IO Optimum Channel 291, RCN Channel 268, Bright House Channel 330, Verizon Fios Channel 900, Cox Channel 1, Frontier Communications, and now on Comcast Cable in the on-demand menu under Premium Channels. For more information, visit TJCTV.com.